Hey, welcome to Realize Guyana once again. It's Realize and Molly here. Nice to have you here. Today we're going to be sharing with you a Guyanese flat bread recipe. And for this recipe here, we're going to be using these following ingredients here. We have three and a half cups of all-purpose flour, quarter cup of sugar, quarter cup of melted margarine, one and a quarter cup of warm water, and that's all the ingredients we're going to be needing for this Guyanese plat bread. So stay tuned guys. So to begin with here, we're going to add the sugar and the yeast to the warm water. And now you have to let this sit for about 10 minutes for the yeast to activate. So after 10 minutes, this is what your mixture should look like when the yeast has activated. So now we're going to start mixing the dough here for the bread. We're going to add the salt there to that mixture. and the melted margarine. So that's it for kneading the dough and if you find at the end of the dough it's a bit it's not going smooth just wet your hands a bit and knead it a little bit more and it will become smooth okay so after kneading the dough here you have to let this sit in order for it to rise for about 45 minutes to an hour so this should double in size that it is here right now and once that happens, you're going to continue the process, okay? So see you then. So we're going to cover this and set it aside to rise. So our dough has sit for 45 minutes and this is what it looks like now. So as you can see, it has doubled in size. So what we're going to do here now, we're going to just punch it down and let it rise some more for another half an hour. So bread is something that takes a bit of time. It's not a lot of work, but it takes a lot of preparation. So we're gonna let this sit for another 30 minutes and let it rise again and we'll see you then okay okay so this is after the second half an hour of allowing the, the dough to rise again so this is what it looks like here now and the reason why you're allowing your dough to rise twice is because it makes for a more solid bread it removes air pockets hollow uh, your pockets in the bread so you have a more solid bread okay so
So now Molly is ready to roll this off into the loaf. So what she's going to do now is separate this into three pieces. to form the loaf and now you're going to roll each piece out to the length of your bread that you want your bread to be So that's it there now. So having the three equal lengths here now, she's going to begin to plat the loaf. So here goes. And that's it. You're going to just tuck the ends in. And there we have our loaf. So now you're going to transfer this to your baking pan. And now you're going to let this sit for yet another 30 minutes before you put it into the oven to bake. So we'll see you then, alright? Okay, so our loaf has sit here for about half an hour and it has risen here now. So we are now going to bake this for 25 minutes at 375 degrees Fahrenheit. This, you're going to bake this until it's golden brown. So we're going to insert this into the oven here now on the middle rack. Okay guys, so our 25 minutes is up and our bread is looking good, so we'll take it out now. So our bread took the 25 minutes and because oven temperatures vary because of different reasons, yours may take a little less time or a little more time, but you're going to look for the color on top, the golden brown color like this here. So now we're going to apply some margarine in here while it's hot. So there you have it guys, Guyanese flat bread. And don't worry about this being the perfect shape my friends. It's homemade bread as long as it stays straight, right? So the loaf has cooled off a bit here. Are we gonna cut into it here now? So there you can see very well done and this is soft so the way they have the bread in Guyana it's it's limitless they have it with so many things there you can have this with butter margarine cheese fish fried fish you can have it with pepper pot and I can remember on Saturdays mainly after we'd, we've had dinner a little bit later you would go get a loaf of this slice it and toast it on the tower and have it with margarine for a late snack with tea and of course in Guyana bread on a Sunday morning is, is a routine you get your bread and your Australian cheddar cheese perfect combination you can even have it soaked into some cheese some people like that you have it with pepper pot hey you can even substitute roti with this you can have this in curry right <laughs> I've heard of people having bread and dal before never tried that myself 
Well, there you go. The possibilities are endless. And there you have it. Penny's flatbread. Enjoy. Please remember to give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And as always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye.